this is the Megan family here and again yeah you can tell on these where this is what it should look like here and then you can see where something is filled it in with mud I think that's larva for possibly mud wasp and okay let's head over here really quick uh, check out this uh, obelisk and then maybe head on to something else oh here's two more these are in better condition I can't tell if they're painted look at that uh, Peter Nittler or Niter August 1806 to 1868, very hard to read. Lots of, okay, so that silver part is actually some sort of white lichen growth, not the color of the metal. Looks like Gertrude, maybe? Can't really tell. I mean, the Regina Niter. I don't know what this... Oh, this maybe says something in a different language, maybe. I can't really tell. It's a little bit hard to read. Uh, and then Regina Niter, 1846 to 1864. Yeah, it's definitely some other language on there. So if you know, let me know. Massive trees, too. Look at the uh, base on this thing. It is just insane. So many things here. It's Veronica No, 1858 to 1920. Definitely some damage in here. Lots of dirt and things kicked up. Almost maybe looks like they've been digging things up and then putting dirt down and putting the headstones back down on top of it. And this is kind of interesting here too. What is, okay, I'm on the wrong side. Just assuming everything will be a mystery at this point. Frankie, Willie, and Julia here. It's like Frankie 18. Oh no. It just dates of death 1864, Willie 1870, and then Julia 18. Oh, it looks like born 1874 past 1875 oh they do have born okay born january okay so it doesn't some of these don't say that's interesting january born january 23rd born july 5th and then this is the only one here julia's that says the date of birth on it so very strange okay um onward to our Oh, I did spot, it looks like two more metal graves here. Let's uh, get those after we're done with the obelisk marker here. Looks like the Baker family section. And Edward J. Baker, no information available. Uh, mother, Mary A. Baker, 1824 to 1906 and then John Baker 1817 to 19 1897 excuse me and wow another one it looks like maybe 25 I don't think it's 30 feet tall quite but incredible beautiful stonework it looks like maybe some copper plating in here that has turned green over the years Another baker here on this side. And an incredible reflection off of that. There's just a strange SUV sitting over there. 
I think it's somebody that was driving around. Maybe just relaxing, reading a book or something. Bernard Baker, 1856 to 1940-something. 1941. And Amalia, 1862 to 1945. Let's see if this... uh bench here is uh, also part does not have any label on it but it would appear that that's the case yeah it looks like there's another bench over here wow I'm even spotting another metal marker that way and you can see the two over this way so the key figuring the difference between security and other visitors is to make yourself out of their direct line of sight and see if they attempt to move their vehicle to be back in your line of sight meaning that they're checking on you so here we have uh margaret berg at kramer in 1931 to 8 1968 i'm trying to go back in time there This is a World War I veteran here, Joseph Berg, 1895 to 1975, and also you can see that they have done some work here to level it out. And then uh, heading around here, all right. Seeing any information on these? Definitely see some patterning. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's much of anything on these. So that's really, really hard to tell what I'm looking at here. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next tier and then that should take us on around to the, where am I? Okay, there we are, uh, to my car. Still just keeping an eye on this person. Not really any movement yet. There is another. What is that? There's some kind of sports car. Is that a sports car or a police car? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This one has been painted clearly. That is a sort of gunmetal gray and a glass housing here. I think this might be in another language. I see 62 there. I don't really know what that means. And then on this side, same design. Let's see again. Wow, that's really, really hard. It's like 1867 is the date, and then Schrader, Schram, looks like maybe, is the name. I'm going to try and get that a little bit clearer once I get back, maybe here. I think we're a couple parts in. That looks... Yeah. It looks like the same. Schram. I'm not sure. See, according to their website, 9 o'clock was how late it's open, so I shouldn't be here past close, and apparently they have people come around with golf carts to tell you when it's closed, so I think we're all good.
<laughs> That's an interesting one. Oh, wow. That's really old. Angeline Chapelatou. Um, Peltier, or Peltier maybe, uh, Griswold. 1887 to, or excuse me, 1787 to 1877, pioneer and mediator. Wow. No uh, plaque, no historical plaque anywhere besides that. That's incredible. That's really old and historic. It really, huh. You would think that they would have some sort of historical plaque. And. Well, we've arrived back in the car. Walked quite a ways. You can see how large this is. I don't really know what part we're in right now, but uh, welcome back. We're starting like the second, probably the third part, maybe the fourth. I don't even know how long I've been here. I just know that I think I have a few more hours that I can spend here before I have to leave, hopefully. But a few interesting cars that seem to maybe be security or possibly just people hanging out and uh, reading, trying to determine if they're inching forward to look at me or what. But right now we're gonna head to our private mausoleums and see if we can get an interior look. So another car, I just parked here at the private mausoleum. It's another car that looks like security or potentially somebody from the office is now approaching. I don't know if they're gonna stop and say something to me or not. It does seem like, oddly, three different people have been looking at me now, so we'll see here. So they just kind of drove straight past and into a funeral home parking lot. I'm confused. <laughs> Might have just been another coincidence. Cemetery just has a lot of active people in here, it seems like. Maybe it's just really a random coincidence. There's a lot of people driving through here today. All right, it's just spotted a grotto. Let's go check it out. All right, looks like we have several different private mausoleums here. The first one being over here, just right in the entryway of where they turned in. I thought for sure somebody <laughs> must have uh, said I was looking suspicious or something, but apparently it's just a popular place to leave, leave through. And uh, I don't see any names on this. Definitely some uh, mud wasp. I see a golf club in there. It might be actually completely unused. Oh wow, there's a birdhouse up here too. Let's see if I uh, get a view around the back here. Yeah, must be a fan of golf for sure, but it appears to be maybe a brand new mausoleum that has yet to be occupied in the least. Okay, so we have one more private mausoleum right over this way, but first, what I'd like to do is go down this hill. It looks like we've discovered a cool little uh, landscaping area and a, I don't think it's a mausoleum, but it looks like just a Catholic grotto. Actually, 
it might be easier just to go to the private mausoleum first. Let's uh, maybe try that. I don't think that uh, we're going to be able to get an interior look in this one. This definitely has very frosted glass here. But some interesting artwork here. Let's see if maybe we, we can uh, head around to the back here. Oh, no, it looks like this is a completely sealed off mausoleum here. Huh, no stained glass in this one. All right, well, let's uh, keep heading on to our, what appears to be grotto, and then we'll head back and there's some really amazing uh, statue work here. I don't know if it's real gold. I'm gonna go ahead and guess absolutely not, but from the car, it looked pretty shiny. So I don't know what they've used. If it actually is just paint, then it is some really amazing paint. So I say that and I'll probably be surprised that it's just an ordinary shiny paint once I get there. Who knows? We'll see. Huh. So that guy did a reverse job from the road instead of turning onto the main road and decided to come back in. See, this is what I'm saying. Everyone here is just hard to read today. All right, a little uh, interesting looking bridgeway over our landscaping here, which is kind of cool. And then a drainage hole there. Whoop, that goes down a long way. Oh, that must be a like eight foot drop. So, yeah, it looks like just a typical Catholic, ma or not mausoleum, excuse me, grotto here. See, there used to be something else right here that's been removed and replaced with just a, a statue of Mary here. And then over here, see the uh, Blessed Mother statue was donated in memory of Irene Sienseta, uh, Lechler, Lechler, and then over here says uh, Hail Mary, full of grace and loving memory of Charles Rulka, Rulka, and Ruth Rulka. And again, something here almost looks like maybe the statue has moved forward or something. Quite some beautiful work. I love these grottos like this. It'd be something so incredible to try and make sometime. And let's go ahead and get an upper view just to see what they did on the back side. Some places don't really do anything. I think when I was at Lindenwood last, they actually hadn't done any uh, landscaping yet, so that might have been the reasoning behind that. So. Not much else up here, but again, wasn't really expecting to find that at all, so very interesting. And there's our white vehicle doing yet another lap around here. So at this point, I'm doubting that they actually say anything. So I'm just gonna keep walking here. If they wanna come over and say something, they can do so, but I think they're just doing their business rounds for the day. That's the way it would appear anyway. <laughs> 